So when you're talking Nintendo and holiday 2016, the biggest game, of course, is Pokemon Sun and Moon for the 3DS. There's nothing on the Wii U, and the Switch is not out yet, and of course the NES Classic is damn near impossible to find. So a lot of people, investors, and people that have Nintendo stocks are banking on Pokemon Sun and Moon to be the cornerstone of the lineup, to be the game that sells really well, and more than likely it will. Pokemon games always sell well, and Pokemon Sun and Moon have switched up a lot of things. They've added new features, and they've made it very exciting to pick up. So a lot of people are looking forward to Pokemon Sun and Moon. And as with any big game release, there are early copies out there. There are review copies for reviewers. Us at Nintendo Enthusiasts, we have a review copy and we are finishing up our review right now. So, and you can see some reviews out there. So the game has been in people's hands for a little while now. Unfortunately, someone ruined it for everyone and was a bad apple and dumped the ROM and put the ROM online so that people could download this ROM if they had a hacked 3DS. But now something funny has happened. You see, usually when you hack something, there's always a risk of it being bricked. And that just kind of comes with the territory. There's always a risk of you messing it up and the device becoming bricked. And with handhelds, it seems like those are easier to hack than home consoles. A lot of people have hacked handhelds and that's just the way things work. And Pokemon Sun and Moon, like I said, was leaked and people were downloading it. But Nintendo has stepped in. Nintendo has done something very funny. They have disallowed these consoles, these handhelds, to go online. Now they can't go online. They can't even access the eShop if they are playing a pirated version of Pokemon Sun and Moon. I'm not quite sure how Nintendo is able to distinguish that because like I said, there are a handful of review copies out there, but these people are reporting being banned. If you look on NeoGAF, if you look on 4chan, if you look on GBATemp.net, people have their 3DSs banned from all online activities. Nintendo has actually released a statement on this as of about two o'clock Eastern saying that, yeah, we saw that people were got this game illegally and they, as with the terms and services of the 3DS is concerned, they are now banned from online activities. You know what? Good job, Nintendo. I have no problem with this. And a lot of people might equate it to emulation and say, oh, well, emulation, you're for emulation. And you're right, I am for emulation, but emulation is a different beast. You see, if I go into a video game store right now, I can't buy a game from 20 years ago, brand new. And if I could, if they had a new copy at the store, that money would not be going to the to the you know people that developed that game, it wouldn't be going to the companies that made that game, it would just be going to the store. This is a game that hasn't even been released yet. This is a game that's not even out and you're pirating it illegally. Unfortunately, if you do the crime, you pay the time and there are always consequences. Like I said earlier, you always run the risk of messing up your system when you're hacking things like that. And Nintendo's in the right here. I mean, I can't see anyone who would be against this. I think it's pretty funny and you get what you deserve. Pokemon is obviously gonna be a huge seller. People are gonna be looking forward to the game. So by emulating it, by ripping the ROM and playing it on your 3DS illegally, you also leak spoilers. The game has been leaked for many people that were looking forward to it and it's a shame. So guys, if you emulated it, if you hacked your 3DS and you downloaded the ROM and you played it and your 3DS got bricked from going online, oh well, that falls on you. Let me know what you think of the situation in the comments section down below. Let me know what you think about Nintendo's handling of it. And of course, be sure to check out other videos on the channel. Subscribe to Nintendo Enthusiast. And if you like seeing my hairy, pretty face, make sure you check me out on RGT85. I'll catch you guys next time. Later.